What made me choose this career was the fact that, well, my father was in the arts, um, a lot of my family members were, but I started making movies when I was about eight years old. I saw a movie and I redrew the whole movie and I put it in a cardboard box with pencils and we rolled it through and my dad saw that and he bought a little camera for me and he bought a little editor and I made about two hours worth of movies when I was, you know, from about eight years old till about 14 years old. And then I started to do video and things like that. But I just, I love moving images, I love film. I just have always been um, a film nut and animation too. So I'm an animator and an illustrator. But the funny thing is, is your career changes as you go through your life. And one of the things that I, I'm kind of known for is that when I get an opportunity, I just walk through the door. And it was really a fun career, but all of a sudden I got an offer from this strange company. As a matter of fact, a headhunter called me on the phone and I got off the phone and I said to Cindy, you can't believe who just called me. And, and she says, who? And I said, it was Microsoft. And she goes, who's Microsoft? <laughs> <laughs> so that's how early on it was. But the thing is, is that, so I took the move to Microsoft and all my friends were like, you're nuts, what are you doing? You know, I mean, you've got a, the first digital art show, your, your career is going great, why are you doing this? And I said, I don't know, I think it's the future. And I said, and I, I think that the whole world's gonna change. And so I took that opportunity to do it. So that's how I went from doing what I really love to doing now what I really love. If I had a piece of advice for anybody is that when you see an opportunity, you just go through that door. Take that opportunity. Because if you sit there and go, should I, shouldn't I, should I, shouldn't I, I mean, you, you, the door will close. And it doesn't, it happens fast. And it's really fun. I mean, sometimes you make the wrong move. I, I've made a couple, but you can get out of those. I mean, that can change pretty easily. Well, it's a long, strange journey. It's about a 30 year plus journey. So right out of high school, I went to work for a place called the Peanut Gallery. The Peanut Gallery was all the artists of the 60s. So it was Victor Moscoso and Stanley Mouse and Kelly. And I ended up doing like Grateful Dead t-shirts and things like that. But I was working and going to college and taking classes in college. So I was taking animation classes. I took theater classes because I really liked film and I thought theater would be a good thing to learn. But I just took random classes, but I also worked in the field the whole time. After that, I ended up with kind of a career and I ended up in the film industry and worked with Lucasfilm and worked with um, a place called Colossal Pictures. And Colossal, we did all the original MTV branding and we did Nike and Coca-Cola and I mean everything. We did this one show called Liquid Television. But during that time, what happened is the all of a sudden the computer industry started to come in. So we started to do all of our art from, on computers and going from doing one illustration every three days to doing three illustrations a day which was like a huge change in the industry. At any rate, is that Microsoft then ended up headhuntering me into the interactive television group in research under Nathan Mervold at Microsoft. Then they realized that they don't really have the bandwidth to do um, interactive television. They said, um, you can be the creative director of kids, Encarta, or MSN. And I said, what's MSN? And they said, oh, it's gonna be our online portal. And I said, what's an online portal. So at any rate, it was very early on in the internet and I ended up doing the first three iteration, three or four iterations of MSN, designing that and, and building it. Then I ended up going to, um, I wanted to come back to the Bay Area because I really love the Bay Area. I started working with Red Sky Interactives who are doing all sorts of interactive things for Coca-Cola and Miller Beer and people like that. Then I started my own company and we won about three or four Emmys and we got to be pretty well known. And so then I started getting headhunted again by companies. Ended up at Yahoo, ended up working with Marissa Mayer, who I did the, you know, I, my whole design team, they, they did the um, weather app and the News Digest app and probably about 15 to 20 other apps. And at that time then CNN came to me and I said, wow, here's a great chance for me to take all my technology knowledge and go back into media which is really where my heart and soul was, was in media companies. And I didn't realize, because I was 20 years in this technology industry, they don't understand media like media companies do. So getting back into the media company, and also I also wanted to work in New York, it's been great. And it's a great, terrific job. As a matter of fact, I, we just released the Apple Watch today, which was great, March 9th. 
And um, we're constantly releasing things every day because the news is constantly coming at us. So we have to move really fast and we have to work with video and we have to work with animation and we have to work with technologies and we have to work. So it's everything I've learned in my career is in this one job, which is pretty awesome. I can't emphasize more that the doing is how you make your life happen. You know, if you don't, you're just talking about life. You know, you got to participate.